And we've invited Joy McCoy and Aaron to come up and share a little bit about Alpha. Please welcome them. Beautiful. Hi, everyone. So, as Pete said, um, the Alpha course, which is a 10-week course that's sort of an exploration of the meaning of life through a Christian lens, has some, is something that we at ID916 have found to be an integral part of our mission to go form intentional disciples of Jesus. So, we've run, um, here in Ann Arbor, we've run two um, in the past since September, and this past course we did started in January and just ended in the beginning of April. Raise your hand if you were on that course, or on the first one in here. There's one, there's one. Raise them high. Yeah, all right, beautiful. Um, so Erin, this is Erin Smith. She's from Ann Arbor, um, not originally. She's from Grand Rapids originally. But she's going to share a bit of, uh, a bit of about um, her alpha experience on this past course. So Erin, as I just said, you did the one we just finished. I did. What did alpha do for you? What did you get out of it? So uh, this is going to be kind of a long story, so I'll try to make it short. Um, so this actually starts back in November. Um, I was over at the Herbex house for dinner, and there was a group of about seven of us there. Um, and the question they asked us that night was, who is Jesus to you, and what is, what is your faith testimony? Um, so everybody kind of went around and shared what their testimony was. And as I was listening to everybody's story, I realized they all had something in common, and that thing that was in common was they had an encounter with Christ. And as my turn was coming up, I was getting really apprehensive because I didn't have that. I didn't have a moment that I could look in my life and say, I met Christ. I knew who Jesus was. Um, so my turn comes along, and I'm like, oh, you know, I'm Aaron. I work as a so-and-so, yada, yada, yada. I'm a cradle Catholic. You know, I've always loved my faith. Kind of just, I don't actually don't really remember what I said, but just kind of, you know, said something um, to get my turn over with. Um, so then uh, when I was driving home that night, I was with my friend and I looked at him and I said, you know, I feel really weird about tonight because um, everybody here could say that they met the Lord Jesus. And I can't say that. Um, what does that mean for my life? And he, he looked at me and he was like, well, maybe that means that you've always had Jesus. And I was like, hmm. That's debatable. Um, I didn't say that out loud, but interiorly I was like, uh, yikes, I don't know. Um, so now fast forward two months, um, I was on Facebook and one of my friends had posted a status saying that they were running an Alpha program. And I had heard about Alpha um, about two years ago, actually at Father John Ricardo's talk, um, Theology on Tap, he had mentioned it. Um, so I was like, yes, like I can actually do it this time. This is a great opportunity. Um, she sent me the information and I was like, okay, you know, we'll give this a try. So I started the Alpha course. Um, and I think that when I look back on it and I, I, I think of the things that I was saying when I started the course, um, I realized a lot of my answers were like the by the book Catholic answers. Like this is what I was taught when I was younger. This is how I was raised. You know, this is what our Catholic faith is. But they weren't personal answers. Um, so the course went on. And I think it was probably more near the end of the course. Um, something kind of started to change. So originally it was like, oh my gosh, it's Monday night, I have Alpha tonight. And then near the end, it was like, oh my gosh, it's Tuesday, like Alpha was yesterday, six more days till Alpha. Yes, I'm so excited. Um, just like counting down, you know, so it was, it was totally great. Um, so on the very last uh, meeting that we had, the question was posed, who is Jesus to you now? Like now that you have gone through this course, now that you've spent 11 weeks talking about this, having these discussions, who is Jesus to you now? And it was quiet for a minute, and I was like, you know, I tend to talk a lot, so I was like, maybe I'll be quiet. But it was just bubbling up inside me, and I was like, I, I can't, like, I have to talk. Um, so I was like, okay, guys, like, well, who is Jesus to me? Um, so I basically started with the same story that I just told you guys. And I said, but I can add something now, and that is Jesus. Like, I think I've met Jesus. Um, and I, <laughs> sorry, it's like it's so hard to put into words. Um, like, who is Jesus to me? Jesus is the greatest man in the world. Jesus is the one who lived and died for us. Jesus is the one that my heart strives after. Like, it is Jesus, you guys. Um, and I realized that somebody loves me, and I am in love with somebody, and he has a name. He's not an idea. He's not a concept. He is a person, and that is Jesus. And what I want you guys to take away from this is that... Um, Everybody has a different story, I guess, of how they're going to meet Jesus, but the thing that is the same is it's out there for everybody. He is waiting for you, and all you have to do is say yes. And with this Alpha course, it was a really intricate part of my ability to say yes, um, and it's an opportunity that's out there, so 
if you can, totally take advantage of it because it's awesome. It will change your life. It's a great story. Let's hear it. For you. So just to close up on our, our brief time up here, this is Evangeli Gaudium. This is Pope Francis's new uh, papal exhortation, apostolic exhortation to all of us, right? And in paragraph three, he says this, I invite all Christians everywhere. I think that would include us. At this very moment, I think that'd be now. <laughs> to a renewed personal encounter with Jesus Christ. And then later in paragraph six, sorry, paragraph seven, he says, I never tire of repeating those words of Benedict XVI, which take us to the very heart of the gospel. They're these. Being a Christian is not the result of an ethical choice or a lofty idea, but the encounter with an event, a person, which gives life a new horizon and a decisive direction. These are the words of, of, our, of our spiritual fathers right now, the last two popes, and, and more, more than just them, that we all need to encounter the Lord Jesus. Nothing else is good enough to live as a Catholic in today's world.